This is the first step. Have to put the hollow spectra over the fluorocarbon. You just do this until you get up to the end where you pull a loop in these. I do all that prior to this. I take this all the way up to the end. And I keep stretching it down the line as I go along. I go in about two feet. And so I kind of guide it over my index finger. I'm going to pull all the wrinkles out just lightly. I don't do it very heavily because you end up stretching it tight again and makes it kind of a nightmare to get the line in. Okay, right where I'm coming to the end here is where the loop, the other end, is pulled right down to the end there. Okay, the next step in doing these top shots is I'll take that round of fluorocarbon, set it around that clamp, and then I come to this end, the one that butted up to the loop end of the hollow, and I just barely hold that down and I pull it through there very gently. And what that's doing is it's pulling any excess forward. So everything is tight. You need this stuff to be as tight as possible. Right to there. Now I'm going to take this, I'm going to open it up a little bit and take that back out right to where I want it, which is about the midpoint between the two. And then I'm going to tighten that down as much as I can by hand and clamp this one down. Make sure that side's tight. Now we're ready to start the serving. I'll get to that in a minute. Okay, now for the serving, I have what's called a FID, F-I-D, you can get those on eBay. They're pretty cheap, they're about 39 cents. Piece of hollow aluminum, probably a quarter inch round, and then some of the grip tape that you wrap around your fingers to get keep from getting line burns like that. Uh, so you wrap that around there, and when we get to where we're wrapping the serving on there, this will hold the serve the tag ends and I pull against each other. That's 30 pound Power Pro. It's not hollow but it is dark and it, when you pull it tight it goes almost black and that way you can tell it's definitely tightened down. So this is how I start this off. Take a loop and cross it over itself. We do a 10 turn uni knot here to start it off. I kind of pinch that on to the hollow and then I go around it 10 times. Okay, then I'm going to take this end, I'm going to loop it down just a little bit and pinch that, pull it tight, and then I, we back roll that uni knot and you got to get this little tag end piece out of there. Keep it from hanging up on everything. When we back roll, it prevents this serve and this knot from having a piece that goes around the outside. This all is one straight piece underneath that knot. So I take this tag in and I'll pull it just a little bit and when I do this loop's going to spin around one time. Now that's not tightened yet. What I will do now is I take this and make sure all of the slack is out which is part of what I did pulling it through that clamp. I'm going to put it down where I, right about the location I want it, which is anywhere from a quarter of an inch to a half of an inch. On the 80 pound, I'll go a little less. That's about a 100 pound length there. About a half an inch for a 100 pound, and then probably three quarters of an inch for 130 on up. I, the serve gets bigger as the line class get, go, increases. So I'll take that tag in, I wrap it around that piece of round aluminum. I twist up the slack so 
So it's right there. And I'm going to pull against, I'm going to put my thumb out there. I'm going to pull with my fingers down and this one in opposite directions. That just tightened that knot. It's not going to go anywhere. I have to have a good exacto knife, really sharp one, and come right up to the edge of that and pull that down and cut it as closely as possible. So there's no tag end left. Now, I start on the half hitches. And I will do about 20 on the 80 pound, 25 on the 100, 25 to 30 on the 130 on up. Usually for the 200 pound, there's about 50 half hitches. So the difference between this and the one that you see that spins all around like a bobbin is if one nick happens, that entire knot comes undone and you lose the entire purpose of that serve. With this, not only do you have to undo a 10 turn uni knot, but you have to undo each one of these half hitches, which is impossible. It's not going to happen. It just will not happen. And so far, as I've said before, somewhere between five and 10,000 of these, I've never had a serve come loose. And when a half hitch is being tied, it does a natural spin around the line. So you kind of want to have a, a anywhere from one and a half to two complete turns before you get to the end, which I'm almost at, of the hollow spectra. A couple more turns there. And I will show a picture at the end of the video of the actual serve and how it spun. It'll be a super up close shot. Then we do this 10 turn uni again. And I will take that slack out and come back down here, pinch it right at the end and back spin it. So there's one straight line underneath this entire knot that's going to tighten it down instead of it wrapping around the outside. You have to be very careful here. You don't want to pull it down too fast or too tight right away because it'll burn the line. Just another thing. I wind that line up on the FID and get it to where I can get a little leverage with my fingers on each side and I pull down. That just totally changed the color of that. It went dark and it is ready to be cut up close there too. And we're just about at the end of this. Take tack glue. This is liquid tack uh, super glue. It's not the gel form. You definitely want the liquid for this. And you'll see why. I'm going to pour a drop on this and then I spin that around there. So the saturation is completely around that serve and then I go up the line. And I let that liquid super glue saturate the line into the fluorocarbon. You get a big old drip like that. I come right up and just get that off of there. You don't want too much excess to where it's got big bulbous drops hanging down that dry because that'll be rough on the fingers. So that's up how you do that one. That's a completed serve. Thanks a lot.